Musical scales. What are they and how do we represent them? A musical scale divides a large interval into equal or unequal steps. Most common music scales span an octave and consist of various patterns of whole and semitones. Based on the interval patterns, scales are put into categories including major, minor, chromatic and others. The tonic pitch of a scale often gives a sense of arrival and is closely related to the bass pitch or fundamental. This tonic of a scale is the note selected as the first one in a pattern, so a C major scale describes a pattern of a major scale with a C tonic. This type of scale is just one of the many possibilities. We can divide any interval into any number of steps. Probably the most well-known example of that would be the pentatonic scale, used abundantly in blues and in Chinese music. It divides an octave into five unequal steps. Different cultures have had many different approaches to scales. Arab makamat sometimes use quarter tones. Indian ragas use natural tuning derived from the overtone series. Gamelan music uses scales such as pelog and slendro, based on the acoustic principles of the inharmonic instruments employed. and so on and so forth. One way to write down the patterns governing such a huge variety of scales is by using cents, a hundredth part of a semitone. You are probably already familiar with the term from our video on musical intervals, and if not, we strongly encourage you to have a look. By using this method, we can simply create a list of numbers, each signifying the distance in cents between the current pitch and the tonic or starting pitch of a scale. For example, the chromatic scale divides the octave into 12 equal steps. In this list, you can see that we begin with 0, which is always our starting point, and end with a 1200, the number representing the octave, the last pitch in our pattern. Chromatic scale consists only of 12 semitones, so each of our steps is 100 cents large. The major scale divides the octave into 7 unequal steps. As always, we start with 0, but this time our list has seven elements, increasing by 100 and 200. This corresponds to semitones and whole tones. This approach allows us to easily represent any scale we can imagine, even some quite strange ones, such as Bolin Pierce scale. The Bolin Pierce scale divides the just 12th into 13 equal steps. Just 12th, or a fifth over an octave, has an interval ratio of 3 to 1 and 1902 cents. Taking all that into consideration, we end up with a step size of approximately 146 cents. This scale is based on the harmonic spectra of clarinet and was independently described in 1970s by Heinz Bolin, Case van Proyen and John R. Pierce. The interval 3 to 1, often called tritiv, serves as the fundamental harmonic ratio and replaces the octave as an interval of equivalency. That means, just like octaves in a diatonic or chromatic scale, tritives in bolin pierce scale are considered equal. Another way of representing scales is by using a list of increasing ratios, starting from 1 to 1, and is especially useful for all kinds of just intonation scales. Just intonation or pure intonation is any musical tuning in which the frequencies of notes are related by ratios of small whole numbers. This intonation is based on overtone series and the natural tuning of instruments like violin. To get the frequencies of our pitches, we simply multiply the starting frequency with a ratio. For example, if our just intonation major scale would start with a frequency of 440 Hz, making it an A major scale, to get the frequency of our second tone, we simply multiply 440 with 9 to 8, giving us 495 hertz. We hope you've learned something new about scales and how we can represent them. If you wish to learn more about music, make sure to watch our other videos.